In this video demonstration, we're going to take a look at PitchJet Enterprise Shipping for Business Central. In this example, we're going to run through a quick freight shipment using rate shopping, processing the freight shipment, uh, transacting with the carrier, printing a bill of lading, um, and recording all of the package detail and all the contents right here in Business Central. So we're going to start by creating a new sales order. And create a new one, but I'm going to copy an existing one just to save a little time on the order entry part. So we'll copy an existing order. And I'm going to copy, copy both the header and the line information for this order. So I have my sales order. I have a couple of lines here with a couple of chairs and, and some lamps. I'll enter. Now notice in this example, there are some additional integrated shipping controls that are part of the PageJet solution for Business Central that include the uh, carrier class of service and also things like freight terms and there's some other controls that we can't go over in this short demonstration. But for example, the freight terms here let you control who pays for the shipping cost as we process our shipment here. Now in this example, we're going to just simply release this order for shipping. Now you can run PasteJet without the warehousing module or with the warehousing module. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and release the order. And we could print a pick list automatically as part of that, as part of the item fulfillment process that's uh, included with the PasteJet solution. And then we can create or access the item fulfillment that we've created as part of that process. So we go out, pick the items, and come back and use the fulfillment to process the shipment. For this scenario, we're going to directly access PasteJet to ship this one order. And as part of that process, we're going to do some packing. So one of the capabilities that PasteJet adds to Business Central is the ability to pack items into containers. And there are multiple methods of doing that. We could use our scan pack application, or in this case, I'm going to use drag and drop as a very easy way to put um, multiple pallets together. We can calculate the weight or use scale integration or use qubit scan integration. So we end up with multiple pallets here. Freight class is automatically calculated. Let's just go ahead and rate it. Now this was preset for ABF, so it's only going to show me the rate, uh, the prices, the costs, and the transit time for ABF. We also could, if we wanted to, to rate shop, broaden the list of carriers we want to look at and rate shop across multiple carriers, and then it will automatically find the lowest cost carrier for uh, for this shipment. Now in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and process it with ABF. We process the transaction, notify the carrier, print documents and paperwork that automatically go to the printer. So in this case, we'll have a bill of lading automatically created by that process and sent to the printer. Any of these documents could be exported to PDF and emailed as well, straight from the confirmation page. So you can email this out to uh, a third party or out to the customer automatically or directly from the screen. It'll also produce a wide range of documents and labels and packing lists. You might, for example, want packing lists with the containers and the contents of those items. Uh, some users like having a combined packing slip shipping label all on one label. Uh, various types of shipping labels. There's also an advanced compliance labels option where you can do GS1, UCC128 labels, all those sorts of things around your shipments. As you process shipments with PageJet, a full range of details are recorded in Business Central automatically. Tracking numbers, freight cost, freight price are some of the basics that are recorded, but there's also a full range of detail recorded from packing. We go ahead and take a look at the fulfillment details that are recorded with Business Central. And you can see here full details about that fulfillment that we've created, including the items and the packages. So we have item contents package detail with the quantities of the items, the weight, the dimensions, all of that detail that you might need for an EDI transmission or just to look up the status as you're tracking shipments with customers. You also have the carrier that was used, the freight payment terms, and down at the bottom here, full detail of the packages themselves along with tracking numbers, the package contents, dimensions and weight, and all that detail is recorded right here in Business Central. Now, in addition to the detailed fulfillment record that PageJet creates as part of shipment processing, that detail is also available now on the sales order. So you can see here a line for the freight cost because this was billable, prepaid and charge, has been added. You can also scroll down and take a look at the carrier details as part of that shipment. If we want to take this one step further, we can do the posting. Post both the shipment and the invoice.
Now, as you see on the invoice now that we posted, there's also a record of the full freight charge that's been carried into the uh, Business Central records for this shipment. Well, that's a quick look at all we have time for on this demonstration of PaceJet Enterprise Shipping, processing freight shipment with rate shopping, full details, packing, all of that information integrated and managed as part of your Business Central ERP system.